Hey everybody, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tara. Today's topic is going to be on Divine Masculine. Let me ground myself first off. Because Divine Masculine, will you just get off whatever it is you got to get off your chest? What you got to get off your chest? We all know you got something to say, right? Look, it's coming out in every reading. It's coming out in Divine Films reading. It's coming out in the third party readings. Divine Masculine, like, look, stop everything. <laughs> Divine Masculine, let's pull your energy. And then I'm going to pull the energy of the overall read because uh, it's a series of events we need to see here. Spirit want us to see. Okay, so something is like, free flowing i'm seeing a lot of free flowing like divine masculine hey i'm not judging you emotions is emotions and that's what a lot of is flowing here it's like this masculine that i'm talking to you really man you've been hurt before and you had a dry spell within love and it's like this love that you feel for divine feeling real ass shit it's good. It's pure. It's good. You see how this water is rolling over all the dryness of these rocks, giving it life, moisture. Man, somebody here need to do, use some lotion, like moisturize the bi masculine. Uh, definitely in the kneecap area. I'm not judging, but anyway, um, there is an effortless emotion that this divine masculine is waking up to, knowing that they can't, they can't live without it. It's not going to stop either. It's it's not going anywhere, right? There's that promise. Uh, within a new moon cycle, it's like, well, by the time we receive the new moon, Divine Masculine been this spilled, the, been this spilled the beans. All right, Divine Fam, look. By the new moon, Divine Masculine, if not sooner, Divine Masculine been this spilled the beans, Okay. Okay, divine masculine, step it up. Let's let's let, let's go. There's that unfoldment that I'm telling y'all about. It's like even this unfoldment with divine masculine, you know, it's like the unfoldment of this consciousness, this God consciousness. It's like your mind is opening up. It's a lot of spiritual connection here. You know, it's like this masculine coming out of dark night of the soul, and they realize that they're in love, and that's then that this is what love is like. And here we have that perspective. That's what I'm saying, that that perspective on, you know, it's like Divine Masculine is sitting back and looking at this transformation occur within themselves. And they're realizing that they like what's happening, but they're also bringing it to their attention of what is happening. You know what I'm saying? It's like really addressing myself, realizing and having a fresh perspective on a situation. And then it's like, you know, dream time has a lot to do with the subconscious mind, you know, and I see a lot of creation going on. I see this masculine energy. You know, this is a shaman. Dream time also has to do with shamans where this is a place that they go. That's a bridge between the seen and the unseen. And it's called dream time. But there, so many things I created is endless possibilities. It's basically the subconscious to me. And um, I just want to say, I see this masculine energy here. Bringing something out that was once just potential. And bringing it out into creation. Someone that's becoming alive. That wants... Man, you have a wish fulfillment, masculine. I'm really happy for you. I think, you know, this past worm moon may have had some type of effect on you. Uh, I believe it really had a lot of effect on all of us with letting go emotions, letting go of things that no longer serve you. And I, I think this really benefited this masculine energy here. Very. Yeah. So I see a lot of heart chakra here that was open and activated within this masculine. It says, as, as, as soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, I redirect my power towards what I want. And that's how this masculine here that we're talking about, because there is cross watchers masculine. I'm going to just say divine femme watching and divine femme cousin and friend and auntie and uncle. 
hey, I ain't judging, whatever. But this is divine masculine right here, waking up, realizing, you know, realizing that I can choose what I want. Here we have my greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force. They come through freedom. You know, the, this divine masculine has come from people having relationships where they just had to control, 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 you know, and it's like, I didn't have to do anything. Well, divine masculine idea had to do stuff, I had to go through dark night of the soul, basically. <laughs> but that offer that opened up, offer just shot out my mouth. I know y'all heard that, right? This masculine is about to make an offer to their divine fan point blank, period. This masculine is open. I, I'm, I'm happy for you, masculine. Real shit, I'm happy for you. You know, it's freedom is a good thing. To wake up and everything is anew again. Look, look at divine masculine. You may be a fire sign or you may be involved with the fire sign or you may just be fiery right now. But this is divine masculine taking that crown off for a second, just doing what you love, realizing that, hey, I can cater to my inner kid and I can still be a fucking king. Here you are working on something. Even your spirit guide is up there looking out, protecting you. You got an ancestor over you, divine masculine. Somebody that wore black a lot. Overall energy is the devil. I want to say that there was definitely an obsession going on, Divine Masculine, but an obsession to create, an obsession to be more. You may be a Capricorn, you may be involved with a Capricorn, or you just may be in that energy. But I'm getting that energy of planning and wanting more. This is what was crossing you. What's crossing you is this Ace of Cups. No matter where you go, there's that emotion again, right? With that waterfall. And it's that love, that real love that you want with Divine Femme. Here's Divine Femme right here. I can't make it up. The Empress. We not here to play no games today, right? By the new moon, we say it. Here you are coming in as King of Pentacles. Because it's like, you know, I'm unfolding to this stability about myself. You know, because you did cry over spilled milk, you know, so you have to start somewhere and get that stability. But, you know, there's that. What did I say? Earlier in the video, I said that Divine Masculine was not used to having that freedom because maybe they were with very controlling partners in the past. But I see this masculine being consoled by a feminine. That's just all I'm going to say. And there, I mean, you low-key as fuck, Divine Masculine. That's all I'm going to say. Like, you low-key, you don't really want to put your hands on her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Flip it and switch it how you, how you must. But, you know, I really see that's why this Divine Masculine wants to move towards this Divine Femme. Because you just make them, Divine Femme, I know you're watching. You just make them feel good, you know? I want to know what's under this devil. Yeah. Having to walk away. You know, for things that's not good for you. But here's that Queen of Pentacles. It's like no matter where they go, here's the Vine Femme. You know, here's the Vine Femme. Being that other partner to um, the King of Pentacles. I'll just pull it out for those who got to see. You know, who this Divine Masculine had to step up and be, right? But moving towards... Divine film with a strategy. Um, that's that passionate energy rushing in, very passionate. But also, Divine Masculine, you have rushed out in the past, and it's like you want to prove something, though. This is what you want to prove, you know. You want to prove, you know, I know I did this in the past, you know. Damn, Divine Masculine, you did a lot of shit in the past. Yeah, there's Queen of Wands. That's why you was coming in like this. Knight of Wands. Because you were coming in fighting and serving this queen that you betrayed, though. Yeah, you may be... Um, Divine Femme may be a fire sign. I do see fire in someone's chart. Somebody definitely fiery and passionate. And you know you really hurt them. And that's why you want to come forth with this baby-ass offer. But, I mean, at the same time... <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, you fucked up. <laughs> but here's the real thing. It's like, you know, I can't make this up. That's why Spirit wanted me to use this thing. <laughs> Look, divine masculine messed up in the past, divine femme. They're different. At least they trying, you know? You got to start something. I want to know what is going to be the overall outcome of Divine Masculine. Trying to come back around Divine Fem. What do they have to offer? Shit. What Divine Masculine got to offer? Okay. They got they got that clear pathway. They not finna play no games. They finna come different. Finna come correct. Oh, and then there's that higher perspective. Rising above the situation. Now y'all see all of these readings are connected. I can't make this up. Yeah, because the sky is the limit. Anything is possible. There's no limits within this connection. There's no limits when you have that freedom of just going towards what you want. I definitely see Divine Masculine being freed up. Definitely being booed up, though. It's like you're going to rush right from being freed up right straight to booed up. Because it's like now y'all ready for each other. Now ain't, ain't no more games. Where you going, girl? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. See? See, this is just the energy I'm channeling, y'all, because divine masculine finna come through and express that love. That's all I'm seeing. Ain't no more holding back, you know. They have tried, divine masculine, you've tried to reach out like through um, maybe friends or acquaintance, acquaintances that you both know mutually, but it's, it's moving too slow for you. Yeah, you're trying to stay optimistic and you want Divine Femme to stay optimistic as well. There is a lot of religious factors playing, you know, at hand here. It's like a spiritual connection, point blank period. And the Divine and the angels really are overseeing this and really just <laughs> fucking with y'all. No. <laughs> um, There's that perception again of how you've been viewing things, though, Divine Masculine. And it's like, now you know that you have to pull on a place of strength. I'm telling you, it's fire sign all up and through this. Somebody has heavy fire in their chart or their partner does. It's like, you have that strength for what? Oh, there's that guardian angel. I just told y'all, guardian angels are over you all. You have ancestors and guardian angels watching over you, Divine Masculine and Divine Femme. Last card, Harmony. So know that Harmony is yours, Divine Masculine. Know that that's what you're pushing towards. Know that that is your destiny, okay? Yeah, still have hope, all right? There's that sun again. There's that fire within you. There's that passion for a new beginning. You know, don't let that go. Spirit wants me to pull one more card to close out. What does Divine Masculine have to look forward to? Oh, and that's how you're going to do Spirit. It's a few cards, but point blank period, unity. You understand that love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. So it's like nourishing to you as well, Divine Masculine. You have that union coming for sure. Here we have the present, you know, just remain in the present. Be, um, really hang on to your emotions stay in the present divine masculine don't keep thinking back about what you did move forward and try to make it right okay you live in the moment and you are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances and lastly we have acceptance you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly re and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life What's bottom deck energy? Because masculine, you're finding your purpose within this. This is so much more. It's like two people coming together that have done the work, have done the healing. And now they're coming together in unity and in purpose. Wow, what a beautiful reading, Divine Masculine. And Divine Fam, because I know you watching. But... <laughs> This has been a collective. I want to thank y'all so much for all of your support, all of your donations, all of your bookings. Y'all been showing me so much love, and I just want to show y'all some love, too. I'm going to have an Etsy account, one and only Etsy account, coming soon for all your metaphysical needs. And um, be aware, I do have 18-plus collective reads on Patreon as well, too. So check those out. Until then, peace and love.